Hi everyone, my name is Stephen Simon and welcome to C Sharp Corner videos. In today's video, we are going to talk about a programming language and that is C Sharp. We are going to learn what are the different features of C Sharp and using this programming language, what are the different type of applications you can build. Later on in this video, we are also going to look at on how you can get started with this programming language with different resources available. Coming up. All right, let's get into the video. So C Sharp programming language was actually developed and launched by Microsoft back in 2001. This programming language is very simple, modern, versatile and open source. If you know C++ or even if you know Java programming language, learning C Sharp is going to be very easy for you. C Sharp programming language was designed by Andres Hedgesberg and currently its development team is led by Matt Stojnesson. And if you are an active member of C Sharp Corner, you might know that Matt Stojnesson was one of the keynote speaker in our last year at C Sharp Corner Annual Developer Conference. The most recent version of C Sharp is 8.0 which was released in 2019 alongside Visual Studio 2019 version. Now you might think that this programming language that is C Sharp is almost a couple of decades old. So is it fine to learn this programming language in 2020? This is a question that many people may ask. So if you look at the very core when the C Sharp programming language was developed back in 2000, their core mission was to make sure that this programming language is meant for the future. And for that sake, they made sure that this programming language is open source. Using this programming language, you can not only build web applications, but you can also build applications like mobile apps, you can build games, you can uh, work on the cloud and there's a lot more. Since C Sharp is a cross-platform programming language, you can build .NET application that can be deployed on Windows, Linux and even Mac platforms. C Sharp apps can also be deployed, it may be on cloud or it may be containers. So let us now look at some of the sample code for this programming language. So for this case, I'm going to take a reference from an article that is from C Sharp Corner, which is titled as what is C Sharp? I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can check it out so that you can follow along with this video. If you look, go to this article, you will find out that it has been written very nicely. And then the initially it talks about what is C Sharp on a programming language and then later on takes you along the different features of this language. As I talked about, this programming language is fast and open source and is a cross platform which helps you build application for different operating system. This programming language is also safe and efficient at the same time. Now, when it comes to the versatility of this programming language, look at the list that we have. You can build Windows client applications, you can build native iOS and Android mobile apps, you can even build backend services. Now, if you know this programming language, you can also work on blockchain, distributed ledger technology, it may be IoT, it may be video games and a lot more. So you must refer this article. Okay, that is about the involvement of these languages. Now let us look at the sample code that we are actually looking now. So let us first look at what are strings and how do we declare it, right? So it is very simple. You write system dot string, then space author name is equal to Mahesh Chand. Now, now I've written Mahesh Chand. It means it is going to store this author name is going to store the value of Mahesh Chand. Now, if I write this, do the same thing and write system dot string space age is equal to 33. Here age is actually the variable name and 33 is the value. Whereas when I write system dot string number string is equal to 33.23 here number string is equal to 33.3 is actually going to store the value of 33.23. That is how simple it is. Again, if you want to get a lot more complete example to it, you can just follow this along this article and this will give you a good idea about how to get started with C Sharp programming language. Also, I think if you'll go down, you'll find a bunch of more resources from where you can learn as in here you can find out uh, the C Sharp books that you can get started. And uh, what the best thing that I like about uh, reading articles at C Sharp Corner is you get this comment section below where you can actually read the views of different people 
this gives you an idea whether this article is good whether this is helpful or not and as of now i can see that people are really loving this article and uh, asking some questions too and the people the authors are even replying for the same so this is a great community where you can just come and learn not just c sharp programming language but any technology that you can think of and get started with it now to give you an idea about different technologies that we have if you click on the top that is technologies you will find out that there are bunch of technologies listed over here starting from .net .net core it may be aws it may be azure bot framework i mean every technology that you can think you'll find it over here so this is the best place to get started with your uh, programming skills as of now i'll click on c sharp and find out all the articles that is written on c sharp you see the latest article that was on 15th march that is on enum that is again uh, its value type with a set of related named constants that is then offered to have a enumeration list again you'll find all the different articles from the authors across the globe and uh, just visit this section technologies and then c sharp to get started with your programming language also i think we do have a section for the videos and the learn where you can get a video series for this programming language so i hope this video really helps you out and builds your interest to now move your career into c sharp programming language let us know in the comment section below what are your thoughts for this programming language and how do you think this programming language will go in the coming decade thank you so much for watching video till here my name is stephen simon your host i'll see you in the next video